Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I tried to explain why we need to understand spectral decomposition and singular value decomposition in order to understand multivariate data analysis. In, in this video, I want to show you how to use spectral decomposition for principal component analysis to clearly understand behind of the analysis output. I have prepared simple multivariate data for principal component analysis uh, from this book. This Korean book, which is written by Professor Song Mo Yu, is one of my favorite books to study multivariate statistical analysis. There is another English book, uh, which I like to uh, study statistical analysis, uh, multivariate, uh, applied multivariate statistical analysis, written by Richard Johnson and Dean Wichern. Right? Many people also uh, ask me uh, the difference between principal component analysis and factor analysis. This is how I try to, how I explain uh, the difference between them. So both uh, statistical analysis is based on uh, spectral decomposition. And principal component analysis is more focused on to find out the uh, linear combination of eigenvectors and uh, data matrix, right? And factor analysis is more focused on decomposition of uh, X matrix, which is by uh, com uh, composed, will be decomposed by RNF. Uh, R is actually a uh, loading matrix and factor matrix. So this L matrix is actually can be calculated by uh, P times squared uh, lambda matrix, right? So these are all from uh, spectral decomposition. So uh, again, in summary, principal component analysis uh, actually try to find out the linear combination of eigenvectors and data matrix. And factor analysis is more focused on decomposition of data matrix, right? With error term, there is no error term here, right? And there is also one uh, notation we need to be careful. As you can see, X data uh, multivariate data matrix can be uh, can be uh, written by this form transpose of this uh, p variable uh, columns, right? But uh, actually, uh, in um, in many uh, statistical books, we uh, use this notation. However, it is actually different from actual data format. Actual data format is like this, right? Uh, and observations and p variables. All right, let's move on to understand how to do uh, principal component analysis in our program. So once you read uh, data as body uh, body underscore data, then you can do uh, principal component analysis by using PR comp. So uh, PR comp uh, will generate this uh, output, and before using this PR comp, you can standardize data like this, or uh, when you use PR comp, you can directly uh, specify uh, scale as true uh, to standardize all uh, variables, right? It produce, produces the uh, same outputs. And also you can use print comp uh, function with uh, COR as true uh, option. Then yours can get the uh, same output. The green box here the uh, important part to understand principal component analysis. PC1 means first principal component. PC2 means second principal component. As you can see, PC1 uh, shows all positive uh, values, and PC2, PC2 uh, shows positive values for WD uh, variables and uh, negative uh, values for HT measurement. So it means that PC1 represents overall size of body and PC2 represents actually the difference between height and width, right? So uh, more width actually uh, goes to, I mean, uh, specify, characterize with the variables. All right, let's directly uh, calculate uh, this, this one. So in order to do that, we need to use uh, eigenfunction. So let's make a 
correlation matrix by using COR function, then you can use eigenfunction to decompose uh, correlation matrix. Then it shows eigenvalues and eigenvectors, right? Only the difference is the uh, sign of values, right? So it's a uh, rotation matter. So if you multiply by minus one, you can have this y1 and y2. Again, y1 represents overall body size and y2 measures the difference between uh, height and width. Let me show you how to uh, get principal component scores for each observation and related uh, measurement. All right, we need to standardize each variable, uh, ht1 minus average of ht1 variable. Divide by stdev.s in column B again. Okay. Then we can apply this formula for for data. Right. So uh, in, in Excel, there is no uh, direct function to calculate eigenvalues uh, and eigenvectors. So I, I calculated uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors from our program. This is the uh, output, right? Then let's get uh, principal component uh, scores for each observation. So emerge X matrix, standardized uh, data matrix. Uh, comma and uh, eigenvectors right and press control shift enter sorry we need to select all series and again and merge and standardized data matrix comma and eigenvectors here and press Control Shift Enter, right. So as you can see, uh, we can uh, have same output, but all the the only difference is the sign of uh, all values. So let's multiply by negative one. Copy, special paste the value, multiply, right. Then you can have. Uh, same output, right? Then this is a proportional variance explained from uh, eigenvalues. So first eigenvalues, eigenvalue over sum of or eigenvalues. Okay. Right, the sum of all uh, proportion uh, of variance uh, must be one. So as you can see, the first eigenvalue contributes 67% uh, of uh, total variance. Okay, and standard deviation. This one, this part. Let me show you how to calculate this one. Right, stdev.s and principal components of first one. Okay. Right. This one. This one. And second one, 1.22 and 1.22, etc. So you can calculate the standard deviation from this uh, uh, matrix, which is from linear combination of standardized X matrix uh, with uh, eigenvectors. We also can calculate eigenvalues from this one. So STD, no, sorry, VAR dot S, first variable, All right, 
you can see so this is actually uh, PC1 PC2 Then uh, also we can calculate uh, eigenvalues from uh, standard deviation. This is actually standard deviation squared standard deviation. All right. So again, this uh, eigen uh, eigenvalues can be calculated by uh, eigen decomposition, and also. Uh, and also this uh, eigenvalues uh, from uh, principal components, right? This is a basic uh, uh, concept or uh, basic output to understand principal component analysis. I hope it was useful to understand how to do principal component analysis in R, right? And also how to uh, get eigenvalues and eigenvectors uh, uh, sorry, uh, eigenvalues from uh, principal component analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.